here at go. the Great nice. Minnesota Eat Together with Senator <laughs> David Han. Nice to have you here. Good to be here. Um, curious, what have you eaten so far? Well, it's more what I haven't eaten, but I've had the Brano Pups, <laughs> oh, and uh, we've had the mini donuts, uh, caramel apples. Uh, we had the little fried gator bits or whatever gator they are. Bits. Are those good? Uh, they, well, my son said they were good. I was a little bit more skeptical. But, yeah. uh, but we've is been trying what? lots of different things. Is that what it says on the tin? Is that actual gator? <laughs> that they no, said it, it is. Yeah, it is actual gator. That's right. Uh, not too far from here. It does it taste like chicken? It uh, kind of did. Mm -hmm. uh, a little bit more of a, uh, a rubbery chicken. In oh. my opinion. Just, you know, I picked up pecan turtles. There were no turtles. In <laughs> no, no. It like well, doesn't chicken. sound like you haven't missed out on too much yet. Well, we still got a ways to go. There's still, uh, what, another week? That's so true. lots of opportunities, and I'm going to try to take full advantage of yeah, it. Is this your first day at the fair? No, I was here uh, actually on Friday and a little bit on Saturday. Okay. okay. So you've been talking to a lot of people. This is where, yeah. if, you, if, you are, uh, if you are wanting to hear what Minnesotans think about the state, this is the place to be because yeah. They're around from uh, the entire uh, region. What are Minnesotans saying about the state of Minnesota? Well, I think uh, a lot of things, but uh, I spent some time at the uh, Senate booth over in the Education Building and have been over at the uh, Republican Party booth, too, and I'm going to be over there later this afternoon. But I think a lot of people are concerned about taxes and a lot of things in the news recently having to do with the special, special session mm -hmm. and the attempt that we were uh, engaging in the governor with to try to get some repeal of those taxes. Unfortunately, they wouldn't agree to that. But, but I think a lot of people are concerned about the economy and where we're going and why. Uh, we are burdening ourselves with these uh, these uh, regulations, taxes, and more spending. And why don't we take a different tack? That's my opinion of, on what Our we're doing. Or a tactic that might have worked a couple years ago? Well, uh, you know, we're coming right to the conclusion here in the next, uh, probably within the week, of getting the final accounting on the last two years of the uh, state budget under the Republican majorities in the legislature that produced the surpluses in revenue that fueled the replenishment of the reserves and the payback of the school shift. And we'll see the final accounting on that. And from then on out, all the results will be the result of the DFL budget that was passed. And I think it'll be a good test case to see how they compare. Good comparison. I'm, I'm calling it. The governor is going to run against his own DFL legislature now. <laughs> could be. <laughs> He'll say for the first two years, I cut taxes, revenue yeah. was coming in, and then those and then DFLers in the legislature took over. Right, right. Yeah, that, uh, that's, uh, I, hope that, I hope he tries that tactic. I'm not sure it'll work for him real well, but uh, we'll see what happens. Now, Governor Dayton came out after uh, the agreement was made on what the special session would be about, right. saying that you know he wanted to get rid of that pesky little uh, sales tax on farmers and their equipment. Uh, repairing their equipment, but uh, you Republicans, uh, you wanted to uh, kind of get rid of everything, and the reason why he couldn't let that happen is because you had no way to pay for that. Uh, why didn't the Republicans have a way to pay for the taxes that a lot of people agree are terrible and that we're collecting even though we're probably going to take care of it maybe in January? Well, I think, first of all, the way the governor is characterizing this is uh, simply not true. Is there a kind way to say that? <laughs> I think that was the kindest way to say it. Uh -huh. uh, his characterization of, of that is just completely false. Uh, we had asked and written in a letter that we believe that all three, there are three taxes that they passed, the Democrats passed, that we felt were particularly bad and should be repealed. And that we seem to have uh, Democrats agreeing that those taxes should be repealed, the warehouse tax, the telecommunications tax, and the sales tax on repair and uh, maintenance of equipment. Uh, the governor proposed an exemption, a carve-out okay. of that repair and maintenance tax for farmers only. Uh, we suggested that uh, we repeal all three of those. They said no. We said, well, then how about we just repeal one of those taxes and let's focus on the repair and maintenance piece. Uh, they said no. Uh, we suggested we could do it various ways. We could take uh, money from the reserve with an agreement to replenish those reserves with more detailed spending reductions next session. They said no. Uh, basically, the bottom line is that the DFL majorities, the governor, did not want to do any repeal of these tax bills and unless it didn't involve any spending. They, they were not willing to reduce one dime of spending, and there are thousands, millions, hundreds of millions of dollars of spending that could be postponed or eliminated, and if there's a willingness to do it, we could find the means. They the, just weren't willing. The frustrating thing for me is the fact that they are more than willing to come out and say that they disagree with the taxes, but the fact that we're sitting here not going to be doing anything about it and collecting these taxes for the next couple months without a guarantee that they're even going to come up in the quote-unquote unsession. Right. Well, I, I agree, and I think that uh, uh, we had an opportunity to address those. Uh, we'll see what happens next uh, February when we come back. I don't believe that they're serious about reducing these taxes at all, eliminating them, unless there is somehow magically a lot more money that shows up in the state coffers <laughs> that isn't committed to spending. They are not willing to 
to put off any of the spending commitments that were made in the last budget, that 8% increase. I mean, these are things that, uh, you know, the, the PCR funding, the right. $20 million of welfare for politicians, that's so important. We can't talk about eliminating that. <laughs> uh, you've got the, uh, you know, bills, the bailouts for the uh, various civic, uh, you know, the, the what the parking lot in St. Paul or the Civic Center in St. Paul, and you've got pension fund things. You've got a lot of things in the spending provisions of this budget that are at least debatable at least are willing to be put on the table and said, what is the priority, that spending or this reduction in the taxes that we've put on the people of Minnesota and the hardworking people of the state are going to have to pay higher prices on virtually everything they buy because of these taxes. What's the priority? So we're making farmers pay uh, pay more taxes on their repairs so we can have a system that funds political campaigns. Well, that's part of it. Absolutely. That was the priority that was chosen, that, that none of those spending uh, uh, choices that were made in the mm -hmm. last budget, none of them could be talked about as uh, as put on the table for potential reduction or postponement. You could even postpone that spending and save money if you wanted to really reduce or eliminate those taxes that they have uh, passed. So mm -hmm. this is a problem that the Democrats have created and they have refused to address. We're going to keep coming back and asking them to do that in the next session. Uh, but uh, so far they have shown a very, very high degree of reluctance to really address that problem. And we hope that the uh, people of the state of Minnesota will continue to ask the governor and the DFL to address it, that these are taxes that are counterproductive, they're going to hurt the economy, they're going to hurt ordinary Minnesotans as they struggle to balance their own budget, and we need to get rid of them. Now, you mentioned a lot of new spending that the uh, DFL legislature and the governor have put into... The governor has come to the state fair uh, this week and said that he wants suggestions from state employees and from citizens of the state of Minnesota on how to make the next session the unsession, to undo uh, the things that make government inefficient. Uh, would you recommend the exact same things they passed? In? <laughs> I mean, no. do Can you just redo everything you undo, did? Right? Undo, undo everything you undo. passed in the last year? Well, I, that would be, uh, I think we have a lot of suggestions on that. We, uh, we think there's a lot of room to undo things. I think to start with, we'd undo those three taxes that they passed. That would be the first step. But there's a lot of, uh, uh, I think, uh, things that government does that we could put on the table to look at reform. Uh, one of the things that was missing from the budget they did pass, that 8% increase in spending, zero zero reform. There was no attempt to ask the question, can we do this in a more effective way, a more efficient way? Are we going to make sure that what we're spending money on is actually accomplishing the purpose that we hope for? That's what we should be talking about this session is how can we do things more effectively? Let's see what we can eliminate. Let's see what we can uh, find ways to do differently. I don't think that's going to be on the governor's agenda, frankly. So, so we've had uh, 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 Democrats come out saying that certain of these business-to-business -business taxes aren't good and we should probably get around to uh, getting rid of them, but they won't say exactly when. Plus, you've got the governor coming out and saying that we need to have an unsession to undo portions of government. Is this Democrats basically admitting that they overreached in the last session? Well, I think it's hard to escape that conclusion. Uh, maybe they'll undo their commitment to unionized daycare workers. Maybe that'd be another thing <laughs> that we can nice. undo. That's another great thing that they forced through at the last minute that was highly unpopular. Is well, the still, governor's aware of that one, though. <laughs> well, he, I think so. He, at least he says he's aware of that one. But uh, that's in the courts, and they're struggling over that one. But the, that is going forward, unfortunately. But I think that is something that we should be undoing very quickly. There's no need to, to force uh, home businesses to become union members simply so that the political coffers of the DFL party can it's, be uh, uh, refilled. It's more than that. It's it's entrepreneurs uh, in the legislation. They become state employees. They don't just become union members. They are they are no longer independent business owners. They're state employees. I've never I never thought that was possible. Well, I think uh, what this proves is anything is possible. And, uh, that's and, scary. That's and, really scary. It is to me. It's a, it's a it's a misuse of the power of government to to use it for political purposes. And this is such a blatant political purpose. There's nothing in that movement to unionize home daycare employees uh, that is going to improve daycare. It's going not going to improve anything for any person who needs daycare. All it is is a political payoff, and it's simply a way to help the DFL party retain its uh, political power. And, and government should account. not be used to do that. That's right. It, that, that, that's right, Ben. It's going to improve the union bank account and more money they can put into campaigns. So, yay. Well said. <laughs> That's not what government is for. Nope. Nope. I, I looked nope. at my state constitution. I didn't see that in there.